This cat is my friend. You know what I'm working on? Beauty, the black and white one. She's usually, oh, I guess she's black and white too. The other cat, one with the short tail. Oh, she's actually right over there sleeping. See her over there? But Winnie is, she's my cat. Well, my new cat. I still have my old cat. But, you know, out of the two kittens, Winnie's the one that loves me the most. She's always sitting with me or following me around the house or, or you know. She comes downstairs to see where I am. Oh, look at that. See, you scratch them just right. Oh, I want to get the fleas. See, get the fleas. Get the fleas. There you go. Anyway, Winnie. Gotta love her. Um, watching Mighty Ships right now. Yeah, I'm wearing socks with sandals. Well, they're slippers to me, so kiss my ass. To my footwear. And yes, I'm wearing my Cookie Monster pants because I'm not doing anything. Actually, that's not you. Life of a Builder. Here I am, sitting on the couch with a cat. Man, the dog's under the table somewhere. I had a cup of coffee, but I don't feel too good, so I don't know. Anyway, what I'm doing is, as some of you may have seen in the pictures, I got this. This is an approximation of how many stir sticks it's going to take to make my deck. I mean, what's cool about these stir sticks, actually what's cool about all the stuff that I got to build this trailer for free, is it's like uh, RC Workbench noticed, I know I'm missing out part of his name there, but... You notice that the frame of the trailer actually looks like scale I-beam. Which I think is pretty incredible, because it, it does. And that was old curtain rod junk. It was in the house when I bought the place. Um, these stir sticks I got from uh, my mom's house, from Jack's Supply. I call it Jack's Supply House, because it's his garage, you know, and he passed on. So all this stuff's mine. I just got I'm going to be going there today, too, to look for some more stuff that I can use. Anyway. Anyway. So I got these. These are free. You know, so they were junk basically to me because my mom doesn't need the damn things. But when you cut them down, like cut the ends off, and then I'm sanding them a little bit. These are almost the equivalent of a 2x6 or a 2x4. Like maybe, I would say a 2x6, maybe. Yeah, 2x6. Anyway, so it's perfect for making decks on a semi truck because that's what they make is 2x6s because they use 2x10s, but 2x10s are way more expensive than a 2x2, 2x4 or 2x6. And 2x6 is just better than 2x4 because it takes less, but they're still relatively cheap. That's why most flat deck trailers, it just looks like it's made out of shit wood because they're here. They are because they have Indian individual boards. So if you're loading something, and you break one, like if you drop something heavy on the trailer and you actually break a board, all they have to do is take the bolts out, take that board out, throw it away, stick in a new board, good to go. They don't even weather treat the things. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm sitting downstairs, it's relatively dark, watching TV. I should open the window though, because I need the light. Um, so yeah, this is what I got done so far. I'm not worrying about cutting them all the same length because I'm actually, when I'm doing it, I'm going to make some of them staggered so the joints are staggered. They're not always staggered on a semi truck, but I just like that staggered look. It looks random. It looks real. It looks unpredictable. And I'm also going, you know, I'm not using the most perfect stir sticks. I want to make use ones that are the flat ones because I do have to put weight on them to, dry, to glue them on. But anyway, anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm also... Gonna take used coffee grounds. Oh yes, those are dog toys. Uh and cat toys. I'm going to distractions. Anyway, um I'm gonna be wrapping these things up in uh paper towel. Actually I don't have any paper towel. So I'll use an old t-shirt and uh some coffee grounds and I'm gonna wrap them up and they're getting cut like when when they're when they're all done. This is more than I'm gonna need, but you know, I'd rather make more than I need now. So I'm going to make a whole a whole pile of these things up and I'm going to wrap them in some cloth and then I'm going to wrap it up, or dump coffee grounds all around it so they're all coated in coffee grounds and then I'm going to add some uh, hot water to it, let them sit overnight and uh, yeah it'll warp some of them that's why I'm using more than I need in case I know what's going to happen and um, then they'll come out looking aged and old. It'll actually accent some of the things. I, I'd worry about waterproofing them like with shellac but I don't really play in the rain. I don't like playing in the rain so it's not a big deal. I don't care. Plus I might even put like when I have the ones that are stained 
with coffee grounds. Maybe I'm using coffee grounds because, well, it's free. Yeah, and it looks neat. It looks old. But is it gives it that aged look. And I might just, every other board, I might just take it out and grab one that's new, or go upstairs and grab a new one, and make a clean board and stick in a clean board so it looks like there was one broken, and then it replaced it. And if I really wanted to, I could get real stupid and get like a, what are they called, a uh, you know, paper clip, metal ones, and uh, you drill little tiny holes periodically, and then you take a little piece of that, you slide it, you slide it through, and you put a little dab of glue on the back side so you get, it looks like you have little bolts or little nails sticking in there. But, screw that. <laughs> That would just that would take me forever. Um, I'm I'm pretty neurotic about building stuff like how I do it. Like if you look at Saint, I can't remember how to say his name properly. Saint Saint Row or Centro. I'm bad with names. I can't read very well. But he just made made a wall for his uh, little officer. If you check him out, that's true genius. The guy is like one of the true masters out there. I a lot of my friends that I have on on here are. I found seem I seem to have found some of the best fabricators out there as friends, and that's pretty incredible because I draw on you guys for inspiration, and that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm taking my time to spend my spend today cutting, trimming, sanding little foam setting. Got this from Jack's Supply House too. Jack's Supply House, it's free for me. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Sarah's still got a short day today. So when she gets home, I'm going to phone my mom and see if I can go over there. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to dig around for some wood pieces and maybe some doweling and dig around Jack Supply House. Maybe get a couple more clamps and whatnot if I can find some stuff there. And yeah, so that should be pretty cool. Oh, I want another coffee, but I feel sick. Oh, God, what do I do? Anyway, I think I'm going to have another coffee. I guess I'll make another coffee. Shampoo commercial. Oh yeah, turn on the light. And then I'm gonna Yeah, you run away from me. He's scared of me because I threaten him all the time because he tries to beat up my pleco. He actually does beat up the pleco. There, where is he? Well, there's a pleco. I can't really see him. Her, it. I don't know what it is. There it is. There's the mouth. It's a Florida pleco. It's kind of black with like a I don't know, leopard spots in a way. Yeah, you can't really see them. But anyway, he cleans his tank out. But that's why I put this ghastly looking creation in here. Because it helps to block off, you know, that big son of a bitch over there. So he doesn't try and kill him so they can go down there to get out of the way. That's like a shelter to save the fish from Big Tony. Same with this, these pieces here. It's to stop Tony from getting in here. As you can see, we've got a couple residents. Um, but I got to find out because some plastics will actually emit stuff which can actually mess with your fish's metabolism. And it's true. Look it up. It can actually, uh, one, one science experiment, or not experiment, the thing I saw where it can actually change the sex of the fish. Because some fish, in, like cichlids, will, uh, depending on their surroundings and how many fish there are, they'll change to female or male, depending on what they need. And some plastics emit some kind of stuff which makes them all become female, which is kind of kind of cool, but not cool at the same time. See, there's a house under there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to make another coffee and sip it. He swims up to the top. Every once in a while, he'll come up out of the water and take a gulp of air. I don't know why they do that. I mean, he doesn't do it enough, enough to make me think he needs it, but he comes up and goes, As you can hear him squeak. Look at him sliding down. Swim up and slide back down. See, he doesn't like bending his tail. Bugs him. Watch. He's like, my freaking tail keeps folding my tail. Damn it! But he's like, yeah, he'll do that for hours. So anyway, dog. I gotta vacuum. Oh god. Okay, anyway, anyway, lazy cat. Oh, I'm sorry, you chewed your mouth. Me, my little wee, my sweet wee. Okay, guys, one minute. Why am I still holding the freaking camera? Ah, my eyes. It's my backyard. Or my old mountain bike, which is broken, and I haven't been able to ride it for years. Of course, it's a mess. Big yawn. Holy cow.
Okay, guys. Blah, 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 blah. Ten minutes of crap. Anyway, that's why my stuff looks the way it does. Same as Saint Centro, um, a bunch of other you guys out there. It's because you'll spend three hours sitting on a couch trimming and sanding a million sticks so you can make something look the way you want it. That's the passion. Some people say, God, you spend a lot of time on that. Well, that's what it takes to make me happy and make me satisfied with my product. That's why I do it. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Cats! See, here's my trailer. Here's my book for my controller. It's downstairs. See? Oh, yeah. I made this, too, the other day. Okay, this is the top of the trailer. Now, flip it over. This goes on there like so. And then this part will go on there like that. And I have to support, see, it will sit like this, and then this little, oops, this little gizmo here, little hook then to round it on the front, goes on the front, like that. You see what I mean? So it curls around the front, slides up to the skid plate for the hitch. So that way, that's that ski jump I was talking about. So when the trailer comes up, this part, so if this part's not bashing up against the back of the truck, it'll hit that little ski ramp. And it'll go pop it up. And pop it on there. See? Now, believe me when I say that, when I'm making this stuff, it takes me a god awful amount of time. Because I have to fabricate every single piece other than making these pieces i just had to cut them to the length and shit anyway that's enough okay i'm gonna go get a coffee i guess later build with passion turtles